What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my second horror film review for October 2020. So for this review, it's going to be the 2000 film Doom, based on the video game of the same name, notably Doom 3. And for this review, or for in this case, I watched the unrated version of the movie to see if it made the film any better than I remember it being as far as the regular theatrical cut, and to see if it's better than people say it was. And Overall, I want to say that it was a pretty good film as far as translating a video game to a movie. So you had um, a good translation of the UAC facility. The arc animations were good as far as transporting from Earth to Mars and back. Um, I liked the general idea of opening the portal. Then there was archaeological archaeological dig. Um, having access cars to get to different facilities was good. Um, the only thing that really kind of stood out as well, I guess not really weird in the scope of the movie, was the um, nano steel wall that kind of falls apart so you can go through and then it solidifies so it becomes a full wall. But outside of the film, it would have seemed kind of uh, kind of high tech. But overall, the film was good, and I want to say the extended version of the first person um, view of the film at the end of the film didn't really feel extended but it actually when you get to it, it the payoff is actually pretty good it kind of feels random and makes you wonder why they didn't do that for the whole film and I'll get to the uh, why from my point of view in a bit, bit but I want to say that it's probably just because of money and the budget needed to do some a film entirely like, like that and probably if most people probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much but for me i would have found that it would have made for a better film just because you're expecting the doom um, film to translate the most iconic part of the game being that first person um, mode so i kind of wanted more of it but the payoff was good they actually did a really good job that was probably the part of the film that looked most like the video game as far as the facilities go, navigating through the facility and having um, Carl Urban's character look for his sister. So that part definitely still holds up. I think that's the part of the film that most people liked. Um, the downside to the film that I found, especially in relation to that last bit, was that a good portion of the film was not lit very well, so you just couldn't see what was going on, who the characters were. Um, granted, the point of the film is to be dark and ominous and to have a lot of dark hallways, but when you can't see what's going on in your movie, it kind of is hard to enjoy a movie that you generally just can't see. And that goes to the whole point of that first-person shooter portion of the film, is that you want to you would expect that that part to be the worst lit part but that was actually well lit as far as being dark being ominous but still being able to see what's going on so you can see the hallways and corridors and doors you can see the demons and the bad guys the fight scene was with um the rock was actually very well done so it makes you wonder why they didn't go that route in general um so it felt like um, it's like the entryway into the Mars facility, the uh, old of I think it was called, was probably some of the best lit parts. But then once they started going into the rest of the facility, it wasn't lit very well at all. Aside from very specific rooms and um, areas that the characters were in. So it kind of made the movie hard to watch and I didn't really like it. I mean, I couldn't see what was going on and it would have been nice to have the facility facility about as well lit as the end of the film so that kind of take me out of the film and kind of made me bored of watching it just because if I can't see what's going on and I just hear people talking then I might as well just listen to a podcast and not watch the movie so if the if the movie was well lit I probably could have given it a grade of probably about a B to maybe an A minus it was the story was good and the set pieces that I could see were well done but from there it's kind of downhill so as far as grading the movie I want to give it about a C um, the good the parts that were well done were very well done so the sto for me the story worked um, as far as the chromosome 24 uh, what happened on Mars with that previous society the facilities that you could see before the end um, the, the first person shooter part of it were 
Um, and then this that first person shooter mode also was very well done. So you have the iconic part of looking in the mirror. You have the gun animation, walking through the facility, fighting the demons, the various parts of the stairs, and navigating the facility works. So the movie could have been better, but they it feels like they lost a big viewership just by making it something that you couldn't see. So if they were ever to remake the, the movie, I would hope that they make a Doom first person edition where they do the whole film in the first person shooter mode like they did with Hardcore Henry and um, have the, the film just be that for about an hour and a half. And watching Hardcore Henry makes it believable that it can be done. And especially watching show, um, TV shows like The Mandalorian and the effects that they use to make um, a film as far as um, advanced green screen technologies and merging with um, video game um, engines to make the scenery and atmosphere, the clouds in the sky and all of that makes it seem like it's more feasible now to make a first person version of the film than anything else. So even if they don't make a Doom version, uh, remake Doom in, the, with this, in this way, maybe if they made something like uh, Wolfenstein 3D or Quake or one of the other video games of the era in a first person shooter with a good story, of course, and good set pieces, then it's definitely a film that people would enjoy. So that's all there is for this particular review. So um, next up on the list of film reviews is going to be Resident Evil. <clears throat> for, uh, I think it's the 2002 or 2004 film with Mila Jovovich so we'll see how that holds up and um, coming into this review I've just finished my replay of Star Wars Knights of the Republic um, this time from the light side point of view so look out for that review coming shortly after this review um, so with that review being done I'm going to jump into playing um, the playing Doom 1 for Android, so look out for those reviews coming on YouTube soon. So those video reviews will be on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. Um, the Twitter account is PatelN01 for um, all posts, feedback, getting in touch with me, all that good stuff. Uh, website is PatelN01.com for all links, past episodes, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.